Shalom, Shalom. We're going to get ready to bring it up. We're going to go into Israel and talk briefly about the diaspora, the Israelites that are scattered into all nations. Ye among the heathen does not mean all of the heathen and Gentile nations. So the natural Gentiles is not included in any of the promises. And we're going to go into that today. But before we do, there's a book reference that we're going to go into. 100 Years of Lynchings. And that's primarily in the Daughter of Babylon. We're going to talk about the prophetic judgments associated with that in Joel. So how can the Lord be talking about destruction of the heathen and salvation to them at the same time? It does not make sense. So the Lord raised up men that study in these last days and not just nod up and down like bobblehead dolls. Okay? So before we get started, we're going to face the east. I'd like to give all praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, Kadash. Double honor and respect to the beloved elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Much respect and honor to the beloved brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad, and to the beloved ladies of the hopeful elect of the house of David, listening and learning in meekness and silence as the scriptures command to do so. So we're going to go ahead and start off. Yeah, they just need to know the author, title of the book. Title of the book, 100 Years of Lynch, author, Ralph Ginsburg. Page 82, lynching, bad for business. The killing of Negroes by white people in order to fatten an average ought to be stopped and killing Negroes just because one is in a bad humor ought also to be stopped. Two apparently inoffensive Negroes, good farmhands. Okay, this is a newspaper editorial. So we're going to read the newspaper article and the year that it was written. So these are newspaper articles, real life in America. Editorial from the Memphis Commercial Appeal, August 5th, 1913. And keep in mind, these laws are being brought back into Mississippi, which proves to you what we've been teaching, reincarnation. Why you think King David prophesied in the spirit? Remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom, because we are our forefathers. A beautiful point, Malak. See, they're bringing these back that are already starting in Mississippi. You can look this up. From the top, once more, lynch and bad for business. The killing of Negroes by white people in order to fatten an average ought to be stopped. And killing Negroes just because one is in a bad humor or also to be stopped. Two apparently inoffensive Negroes, good farmhands, real wealth producers, were assassinated near Germantown a few days ago. What year is this again? 1913. Mm -hmm. August 5th, 1913. Now they want to reinstitute these Jim Crow laws. Come on. The Negroes have furnished no possible motive for the deed. Mm. So far as anyone knows, they were quite quiet and orderly, as country people of their class usually are. They worked and played and loafed just like other country Negroes. So the Most High used commerce, uh, if you don't mind, Joe 5 and I think it's uh, 20 where the devices are used against them, he make it the craftiness in their devices to be used against them. So what you're gonna notice while he's reading this is, the so-called Negroes were used as what? To generate wealth. 
So the Lord said he used their economic greed, which protected a remnant of the Israelites. Notice he said that it began to hurt their wealth. Read that again, Hawk, where you read that at. The Negroes have furnished no possible motive for the deed. So far as anyone knows, they were quiet and orderly, as country people of their class usually are. They worked and played and loafed just like other country Negroes. That's the one you come up with. Right, right there, wealth. It's a lot. <clears throat> Two apparently inoffensive Negroes, good farmhands, real wealth producers, were assassinated near Germantown a few days ago. So the owners were complaining you're hurting my revenue so the lord used their craftiness and devices against them i don't know if it was that page where i read it or another page later they were complaining so the lord uses certain devices to protect a remnant to preserve a seed that are going to produce profits let's read that in job over the it's the book of job chapter 5 verse 12. he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. See, so he disappointed the devices of the crafty. So the Lord does this all throughout the Bible to present, protect a chosen seed, a remnant. But they're just thinking, I'm protecting my wealth. Leave my slaves alone. They're thinking carnally, not knowing that Brother Amoth is going to come through one of these men. Brother Zahar is going to come through one of these men. Elder Pasu Tahar, Elder Pasu Aramla, Elder Manaptaza. That's right. The Most High is a bad man. That's Let's right. keep going up. Now, the Negro is about the only dependable tiller of the soil in these parts. See? So the Negro is the only dependable tiller of the soil. So he made the Edomites dependent on our labor. Come on. Competition. Bad chess player. Competition for existence is not keen enough to force many white people into the heart of work. Beautiful. See? So the Edomites didn't want to do no work. Come on. The Negro mm -hmm. also is very useful as a distributor of money. Come on. About all he gets goes through his fingers. Uh -huh. Commercially, then, he is a very valuable asset. See that? made slaves valuable, which is really spiritual. You know what I said, Psalms 125, we are the treasure, 35. Psalms 135, it's either three or four. Who are these Negroes he keeps reading about? Negroes, I got it right here. If you don't mind, uh, Malak, take a break. All right, he's gonna read this treasure first. Come. Uh, it's the book of Psalms, chapter 135, verse, we'll start with verse 3. Praise the Lord, Yahweh, for the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. Mm -hmm. For the Lord, Yahweh, have chosen Jacob and himself and Israel for his peculiar treasure. For his what? For his peculiar treasure. Read that again about made us valuable to commerce and trade. Now the Negro... Is about the only dependable tiller of the soil in these parts. Competition for existence is not keen enough to force many white people into their hard work. Uh -huh. The Negro it also is very useful as a distributor of money. About all he gets goes through his fingers. Commercially, then, he is a very valuable asset. He is a what? V very, very valuable, valuable asset. asset. You're a treasure. So the Lord spiritually behind the scenes is masking over or preserving a remnant from every generation. Now the Edomites don't know. They're like, he's a good still man. He does good work. They don't know the Lord is going to bring forth prophets through these men. Once more, commercially, then he is a very valuable asset. It is not good business to kill them. Uh, 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 uh. I will bring forth a remnant. You know where I'm thinking of. I Read Ham. What are these Negroes? You know how to hold your place. Who are these Negroes he's reading about? The Compact Bible Dictionary. Ham. 
Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before. Read that again, Bubba Kashak. The devil brought by trucks, fire engines, and damn amulets. See, this is all spiritual. Who are these Negroes? Come on. Ham. The Bible, the Bible Compact Dictionary, Zondervan. Bible Compact Dictionary. Thank you. Ham. Mm -hmm. Page 213. Yep. The youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes. Beautiful. But the Egyptians, mm -hmm. Ethiopians, Libyans, and the Canaanites. See that? So these Negroes, these scholars knew they had the Lord's treasure. The Israelites, the so-called Negroes. So who is that remnant being preserved? So we got to look at this thing through a spiritual lens. The Lord used commerce, trade, labor to protect and preserve a remnant seed got that king Con. it's the book of isaiah chapter 10 starting off at verse 20. yep and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of israel and such as are escaped of the house of jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote him but they shall stay upon yahweh by shim yahweh shai the holy one of israel in truth so we're staying upon our oppressors in hunger First, clothing, shelter, raiment. See, so the Bible is a true book. So the Lord is preserving a remnant through these atrocities and captivity. Come on, King, what up? When the Negro enters into the contest with the white man, he is already at disadvantage. And they are so-called white men. They're Edomites. We're not labeled after Crayola crayons, come on. And therefore, the truly brave white man, Edomite, man never seeks a quarrel with Negroes. He knows that the Negro is, a, is at a disadvantage and he does not desire to take advantage of him. Furthermore, the white man of courage can most always control the Negro without being compelled to resort to violence. That's because of you protecting how many would just go and have, if your cow produces your crops and somebody kills your cow, then you're going to be ready to raise hell. So there was a protective hedge around our ancestors that were helping to generate commerce, revenue. The Confederate States of America became the fourth largest economic power in the world in the early 1800s going into the mid 1800s. You got Joel 3, Bukasha? Yeah, so the Most High is promising mercy and deliverance to those that were laid away captive, those that were sold and traded on the stock exchange. The stock market was built on the slave market. Stocks started with slave labor, our ancestors. So the Lord is promising payback, punishment, recompense to the heathen. This is the book of Joel chapter three from the top. For behold in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Yahweh Shapat and will plead with them therefore my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land, and they have cast lots for my people. They have done what? And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the coast of Philistine? Will ye render me a recompense? And if he recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Because ye have taken my silver 
and my gold, and have carried into your temples my goodly, pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians. So notice the treasure that we read in Psalms 135. We see a reference to the treasure. He's talking about his people. Now, did they literally take gold and silver? Yes, they did. But the Most High is mostly concerned with his people. Right. So the Grecians, those are the lands that the Edomites took over under Alexander the Greek around 330 BC. So he's promising a payback, a big payback that James Brown in the spirit made. The big payback. Exactly. Payback. So all you heathen, get ready for captivity. That's right. Let's read another uh, passage in here. The water a lot. In the Chicago Tribune, December 31st, 1914. Mm -hmm. 1914 lynchings show rise. Yep. The number of lynchings in 1914 shows a small increase over that of 1913, yep. being 54, as compared with 48 in 1913 and 64 in 1912. The following table showing the annual number during the last 30 years may be of general interest. So from the 1800s to the late or mid 1900s, late to mid 1900s, around 1950, there was about 10,000 lynchings. No more than about 10,000 across the US. So we're not gonna read the entire chart. Come on. In the New York world, published February the 18th, 1915, another Florida lynch. Tampa, Florida, February the 17th, John Richards, a Negro, was lynched by a mob near Spar, Florida. Last night, he is said to have insulted a white woman. So Karens have always been, that's just a new speak, new term, Karen. They've always said, that Negro looked at me wrong. He gave me a bad look, or he rubbed against me when he walked by. So this is nothing new. There is no new thing under the sun. Let's read about this uh, Negro shot for kissing a Edomite girlfriend. In the Chicago Defender, February 31st, 1915, mm. Negro shot dead for kissing his white Edomite girlfriend. Wow. Cedar Keys, Florida, February 26th. Young Reed, Negro of Kissimmee, was shot to death by a white mob at Wednesday noon after he had been seen kissing a white woman named Bellman, with whom he had been keeping company for the past two years. And these Edomite women, they see more so-called black cop than a public urinal. So they act like they can't be touched. You see behind closed doors, but they're riding the cock carousel. Don't let these women fool you. And you got your dumb Edomite men thinking she's been violated. Come on, brother. Reed was kissing Miss Man yep. goodbye when he was seen by a group of white men. Huh. The men seized him, beat him unmercifully and placed him in jail. Shortly thereafter, a lynching party was formed and Reed was shot to death. Wow. That's it. That last one, and then he's got a preset. God, God this is the book. One, one moment. Slack, it's like it. Uh -huh. Local men of the Negro race have sworn to burn down the homes of white men, leaving with colored women to avenge the death of Reed. So the Jake was going to try to take up arms, not knowing we're under these curses. You can't go against the Most High what he has ordained. Romans 13 and 1. Unless they go over the top, like this chip in the last days. Come on, King. God, this is the book of Ezekiel 35, starting off at 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the hour of power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Mm. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and 
cut off from it, from him that pisses out socket. Like Ezekiel 35, verse 7 from the top. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off from it him that pisseth, so like it passeth yes. out, mm -hmm. and him that returneth. Yep. And I will fill his mountain with his slain men in thy hills and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. Beautiful. So the land can be clean only by bloodshed. Thus saith the Lord. So the land is drenched with the blood of the Israelites. The so-called Negroes and Native Americans, the so-called Latinos, the Edomites are walking around with cream cheese bagels and Starbucks coffee. They don't give a damn. The Fortune 500 companies were built on plantation slavery. And the major banks are not the banks collapsing. It's not the economic powerhouse of the world falling. You tell me, are we making this stuff up or what? The Lord is collapsing a system built by blood. That's right. Let's go to Lamentations 4 and 19. You got a precept? Yeah, real quick. Come on. Psalms 116, verse 15. Precious in the sight of Yahweh yes. is the death of his saints. That's a beautiful precept right there, yes. Psalms 116, verse 15. Precious in the sight of Yahweh is the death of his saints. So the, the saints is talking about the elect. So you have prophets being murdered in the days of old. And many of them became martyrs or put to death. But the prophets are back. The elect are back. This is the empire strikes back. The tabernacle of David is being resurrected from the grave. From the valley of the dry bones. So that we understand. Yeah, we're going to go to Lamentations 4 and 19. Yeah. Lamentations 4, verse 19. Our persecutors are swifter than the evils of the heaven. They persecuted us upon the mountains. They laid wait for us in the wilderness. Who exalts himself as the eagle? See? Yeah, ancient Babylon applies. But it's also some of the prophecies pertain to historic events and a projection into the future. So now the Edomites is a conglomeration of all the kingdoms. We got a Kimbo with the shot. God, Lamentations 4, verse 19. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. They pursued us upon the mountains. They laid wait for us in the wilderness. Go from there to Habakkuk. Oh, we gotta keep going. I'm sorry. Come, come. Verse 20, the breath of our nostrils, the anointed of the Lord, Yahweh, yes. was taken in the midst of, of whom we said, under his shadow, we shall live among the heathen. See that? Among the heathen. So the whole Bible is dedicated to giving the Israelites scattered among the heathen comfort, rest with us because of the prophecies. Oh, you got to read that again, King. God, Lamentations chapter 4, verse 20 from the top. Yep. The breath of our nostrils, the anointed of Yahweh, was taken in their pits, of whom we said, under his shadow, we shall live among the heathen. Go from there to Habakkuk 1 and 5, and then return back to the next scripture. God, from there. Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 5. Behold ye among the heathen. Say what? Behold ye among the heathen. Uh huh. And regard and wonder, uh, what's that? Uh, uh, marvelously, marvelously, yep. for I will work a work in your days which ye shall not believe, though it be told you. So we would never have imagined we would be gathered from all the nations where we've been scattered and dispersed. Now we're in the daughter of Babylon, under the eagle, Edomites. We're going to go right back to um, Lamentations 4, somewhere around verse 20. Come on, Lamentations 4 from 20 on um, from the top. The breath of our nostrils, the anointed of the Lord Yahweh, was taken in their pits, Beautiful. of whom we said, under his shadow, Beautiful. we shall live among the heathen. Mm -hmm. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of us. Mm -hmm. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. The punishment 
of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. So all the curses are being transitioned over to the Edomites. So there is a pivotal shift, a major paradigm shift. And most of you Edomites can feel it, along with you bugged out Jakes that come against this doctrine. So all the curses of Deuteronomy that's being transitioned over to the Edomites. You're signing over an ass whooping that's being signed over to you. All right? Signed, sealed, and delivered. Is there more on that? Yes, sir. He will discover thy sins. That's it. Beautiful. So they're being made naked. That means they're being exposed for all their iniquities, their wickedness. Come on, King. You got, oh, you got a precept. Come on. This is Nahum chapter 1, verse 9. What do ye imagine against the Lord Yahweh? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. See that? So this is the end of our suffering, our captivity. So we ought to be pushing hard That's right. to the finish line. That's right. And we got a bug out of that Jake saying we don't have to teach every day. The sheep got to be fed daily. That's right. All you weak men are going to be destroyed. Destroyed, you weak men. You got something to cut that weak yeah, ass thing. I got something right here. You got to teach daily. This is uh, 2 Peter 1, verse 10. Wherefore the rather brethren give diligence. Can somebody put diligence on the comment board, Baba Gusha? To make your calling and election sure. Beautiful. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fat fall. It's like it. See that? Let's go to Psalms 19 and 1 and 2. Psalms and then we're going to move on. This bug out talk about we don't have to teach every day. Psalms 19, 1 and 2? Yes. Con, this is the book of Psalms 19, starting off at verse 1. The heavens declare the glory of the Most High, and the firmament sheweth his handiwork. That's the worldwide web. This communications, communications network. Read that again, Bubba Kishan. Con, Psalms 19, verse 1. The heavens declare the glory of the Most High, and the firmament sheweth his handiwork. Day unto day, utter of speech. Day unto day. Day unto day. So what the hell are you talking about? That's right. We don't take no day off. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to break no, you off. Come on. Psalms 19, uh, verse 2 from the top. Day unto day, utter of speech. And night unto night, sheweth knowledge. See, so these videos are going up every day. All you Jake's wearing diapers, you're finished. You are finished. Read one more, King. God, uh, Hebrews chapter 3, verse 13. Matter of fact, verse 12. Yes. Take heed, brethren, lest there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief and departing from the living power, but exhort one another daily. Mm, 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 While mm. it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. We're going to get you to read uh, Isaiah 62 and 6 and 7. I'm going to stop there. Come. Hey, you can't. Hey, look, there's no match. Come against the spiritual monument. You're no match, Jake. You're no match. That's right. Come against the power of your house shot. Let's close out on this weak ass, Jake. One more. Isaiah 62, starting off at verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, mm. O Jerusalem, which shall never. Hold their peace, day nor night. No, we're going to take a month off and sit back on the eve. Day nor night. Let's go. Ye that make mention of Yahweh, keep not silence. You're not ready, Jake. Sit your ass down somewhere. You're coming against the spirit and power of Yahweh. Oh, Hashem. Yahweh. Yahweh. Let's go. Let's go back to you and these nasty Edomites. What they did to our ancestors. You Edomites got the pay. That's right. We ain't forgot about you. Let's go back to these articles. In the Chicago Defender, December 18th, 1915, rape, lynch, Negro mother. Columbus, Mississippi, December the 17th, Thursday a week ago, Cordella Stevenson was found early in the morning hanging to a limb of a tree without any clothing, dead. She had been hung Wednesday night after a mob had visited her cabin. 
taken her from her husband and lynched her after they have mart maltreated. Oh, maltreated. Maltreated. Oh, it's a lot. Maltreated her. Don't forget, they gang raped her. They're not really laying that out in detail because it was so embarrassing. So these Edomites gang raped this Eve. And we got Eve walking around with Edomites on their shoulders, holding his arm. They gang raped her. Read that again. Once more. She had been hung Wednesday night after a mob had visited her, her cabin, taken her from her husband and lynched her after they had maltreated her. The body was found about 50 yards north of the Mobile and Ohio Railroad. And the thousands and thousands of passengers that came in and out of the city last Thursday morning were horrified at the sight. So she had all types of Edomite, you know, um, sex shots on her face and body. I gotta keep it clean. She had been shot up by their uh, sexual shots, ejaculate. Let's leave it like that. So it was a horrible sight and she was beat unrecognizable. But we're telling, we got Jake telling us, take days off and let bygones be bygones. The Lord is gonna raise up his men, Jake, and we coming. We coming, we coming, we coming. Read that real quick. Oh, God, it's the book of Hosea, chapter 8, verse 8. Israel is swallowed up. Now shall they be among the Gentiles as a vessel wherein is no pleasure. There's no pleasure in being gang raped by animals, Edomites, ravaged, and then thrown out like trash. And we're told to forget. Remember, oh Lord. The children of Edom. Con, verse uh, what's it say, Hosea 9? Yep, and then 27, that last verse there in Hosea 9, 9 17. Con, Hosea chapter 9, verse 17. My power will cast them away because they did not hearken unto him, and they shall be wanderers among the nations. They shall be what? Wanderers among the nations. I mean, you saw that movie, Wanderers, came out in 1978. So we have no resting place. We're pilgrims on the earth. Let's read this by the beloved elder out of the UK. We have Romans chapter 11, verse 25. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceit that blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. See, so this is the rebuilding of the Lord's house of Israel, the tabernacle of David. You see, so the northern kingdom is being joined to the southern kingdom. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, the northern kingdom, Ephraim, Gad, Reuben, Simeon, they're all being joined back together. So the Lord would use the reintegration of the Israelites that were cut off back into the southern kingdom to bring them to jealousy. That's spoken of in Deuteronomy 32. Now that's also twofold. Sometimes the scripture have manifold meaning. Now we're being brought to jealousy by a no people that's ruling over us today. You got something else, King? Okay. This is Isaiah 49, verse 6. And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob Beautiful. and to restore the preserved of Israel. Uh -huh. I will also give thee a light to the Gentiles. Yes. That thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Unto the what? Unto the end of the earth. For the western hemisphere is when the sun sets. The ends of the earth. The ends of the world. The daughter of Babylon. See? So the Gentiles are the Israelites right. that were castaways, that were cut off from being a people that became a no people. Romans 9 up. Uh, start reading around 24. Romans chapter 9, 
Starting off at verse 24, and it reads this. Even us, whom he have called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. There it is right there. See? So the Israelites that were castaways, that were cut off from the commonwealth, are being joined back together. Read that again, Bubba Kasha. Come Romans 9, verse 24. Even us, whom he have called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. As he saith also in OC, I will call them my people, which were not my people, and her beloved, which was not my beloved. Mm. It shall come to pass yep. that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living power. Where were we called not a people? The daughter of Babylon and the other lands where we were dispersed. So Hosea 1 and 10 is solely dedicated to the house of Israel. That's, right. That's how we know the context that Paul is talking about in Romans chapter 9. Let's get back to you on these crimes. Somebody's got to pay for these crimes. That's right. Esau and you other nations. Everything we do in this life comes with a price. Nothing in this world is free. Nothing. Come on, King. She was hung there from the night before by a bloodthirsty mob who had gone to her home, snatched her from slumber, and dragged her through the streets without any resistance. Mm. They carried her to a far-off spot, did their dirt, and then strung her up. Mm. Several months ago, the bond of Gabe Frank White was burned. The son of Miss Stevenson was suspected of the burning, although Miss Stevenson and her husband are, are regarded as hardworking people. Having worked for the same employer 11 years, their son is regarded as shiftless. See that? So the Lord is saying that the remnant will no longer stay upon him that smote us that the beloved brother read in Isaiah 10. Who was being smoked, smitten, slain? Who was devoured by the other nations? Book of Keshach, Tobit 13. Well, we're going to start at the top of Tobit. So the Lord is talking about judgment to the heathen, the Gentile nations, recompense to those that stole his treasure and that oppress his crown jewels and gathering his elect that were called a no people, called heathen, called Gentiles, castaways. God, this is the book of Tobit, chapter 13, from the top. Then Tobit wrote a prayer of rejoicing and said, blessed be the most high that liveth forever and blessed be his kingdom for he do scourge and have mercy, he leadeth down to hell and bringeth up again. Neither is there any that can avoid his hand. Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel. Beautiful. For he hath scattered us among them. Therefore, declare his greatness and extol him before all the living, for he is our power. Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. And he is the power of our father forever. And he will scourge us for our iniquities and will have mercy again and will gather us out of all nations <laughs> among whom he has scattered us. Mm. If you return to him with your whole heart Beautiful. and with your whole mind and deal uprightly before him, that so like, then he will turn unto you and will not hide his face from you therefore see what he will do with you and confess him with your whole mouth and praise Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah of might and extol the everlasting king in the land of our captivity in the what? in the land, land of, of my captivity. captivity so he's speaking to the captives of Zion the Israelites I got something to back you up, Malak. This is Romans chapter 9, verse 30. Did not he say confess him 
among the Gentiles? Romans 9 and 30. What shall we say then that the Gentiles, which followed not at the righteousness, have attained righteousness, even the righteousness which is of faith? That's all nations. That's everybody. Well, let's see. Romans 9 and 31. But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness, have not obtained the law of righteousness. We went off trying to follow the deeds of the law that was written in stone. So now we got a mediator back to the heavenly father through Yahweh Shai. Romans 9, verse 31. But Israel, which follow after the law of righteousness, have not obtained to the law of righteousness. Wherefore, because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by the works of the law, for they stumbled at the stumbling stone. So we stumbled at the old covenant, the works of the law, the deeds of the law. Verse 33, as it is written, behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling block and rock of offense, and whosoever believe on him shall not be ashamed. So Yahweh Shai is the mediator to bring us back to the covenant with our husband, the most high father. You got something? No. Ephesians 2 and 11 to prove that. We're going to prove what we just said because we came cut off from the commonwealth. So we needed a bridge to get back to him, the father. The most high don't deal with filth. We were not a people because of our abominations. God, it's the book of Ephesians chapter 2, verse 11. Start at 10, but we shut up. God, verse 10. Yep. For we are his workmanship, mm -hmm. created in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, unto good works, Beautiful. which the Most High hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Yep. Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh. Do what? Uh, past Gentiles in the flesh. Beautiful. Who are called uncircumcision. Beautiful. By, by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. So we were called Gentiles in the flesh. I don't think these pastors out there can read. We were called Gentiles in the flesh because of idolatry, yep. witchcraft, sin. Let's go back to you, King Page, and what we're reading, Book Shop. 100 Years of Lynch by Ralph Ginsburg. Page 96, the rape lynched Negro mother. Miss Stevenson was brought to the police station and questioned on the possibility that her son might have set fire to Frank's barn. Mrs. Stevenson said her son had left home several months prior to the burning and she did not know his whereabouts. Convinced of her truthfulness, the police turned her loose and she went home. Nothing more was thought of the case until Thursday morning. They had gone to bed early as usual and after hearing a knock on the door, according to Ox Stevenson, the woman's husband, who ran all the way in town after the mob had taken his wife. Before he could answer the knock, the mob had broken the door down and seized his wife, putting rifles to his head and threatened him if he moved. At the first opportunity, he ran mid the hell of bullets. After telling his story, he left for parts unknown. The mob took the woman about 10 o'clock at night. After that, no one knows exactly what happened. The condition of the body showed plainly that she had been mistreated. Sheriff Bell telephoned to Justice of the Peace, McKellar, to hold an inquest. He was out of town and didn't return till Thursday night. The body was left hanging in a view of a morbid crowd that came to gaze at it till Friday morning. So they left her butt naked and she had cum shots all over her body. Cum shots, we know what that is, okay? Ejaculate. And she was left hanging butt naked. Let's read this, we're gonna take a pause, hold your spot. We got. The beloved brother Andre serving in Havashai. Second Maccabees, chapter 1, 
verse 27. Gather those together that are scattered from us. Deliver them that serve among the heathen. Look upon them that are despised and abhorred. And let the heathen know that thou art our God. Punish them. Say what? Punish them that oppress us and with pride do us wrong. Spoil. That's, that was it on that. Let's read this, Brother Zadok. Brother Zadok has Isaiah 33 and 1. The book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 1. Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou was not spoiled, and dealest treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. When thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. All the works of your hands, sleazy eat. It's going to be returned upon your own head. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, recompense unto her double for her transgression. Got a precept. God, this is the, the song of the three holy children. Obviously, chapter 1, verse 9. And thou didst deliver us into the hands of lawless enemies, most hateful forsakers of the Most High, and to an unjust king and the most wicked in all the world. Exactly. Now, we know that applied originally to ancient Babylon, talking about the three Hebrew boys, but guess what? It applies now as well in modern Babylon. Beautiful precept, Malak. Let's go back to you, brother. Once more, the body was left hanging in the view of the more big crowd that came to gaze at it till Friday morning. Notice he read, see this is the spirit, a lawless people, gang rape. You're not even supposed to let a woman's body be displayed but naked. We're not supposed to see her nakedness, but they are savage, lawless. Come on, King. When it was cut down and the inquest held, the jury returned a verdict that she came to death at the hands of persons unknown. They said the judge and the rest of the uh, legal men said, we don't know the perpetrators. No investigation whatsoever. You see, you know what that said, uh, Zechariah 11, who's possessed to slay them. And the caveman says, what crimes? Not guilty. See, who hold themselves not guilty. Read it again, Malak. Once more, the jury returned a verdict that she came to death at the hands of persons unknown. Unbelievable. We don't know who the perpetrators are. You Edomites got to pay. Come on, King. Zechariah 11, verse 5. Who possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. Mm. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own oh. shepherds pity them not. Mm. So we got leaders amongst us too that don't pity us. Talking about their pastor with a shaved head, shaved face, and sleeping with the congregation men's wives. So there's a lot of blood in the land of Babylon the Great. Come on, King. This is Habakkuk chapter one, starting off at verse six. For lo, I will raise up the Chaldeans, mm. that bitter and hasty nation, uh -huh. which shall march through the breadth of the land yep. to possess the dwelling places that are not theirs. Beautiful. They are terrible and dreadful. Their judgment and their dignity shall proceed of themselves. Beautiful. So we know that in ancient Babylon, the southern kingdom were led away captive. And they were assisted, the Babylonians were assisted by Edomites. You see the connection here? So those same Edomites were regenerated into the daughter of Babylon. Right. I know you see it. You think King David was on methamphetamines when he said, remember, O oh Lord, the, the children of Edom. You see that? So reincarnation is embedded in the scriptures. Come on, King. It was the same old verdict that all Southern juries returned in the cases of this kind. 
The United States is sending missionaries to teach the heathen. Ford has gone to Europe with his peace party. Ministers preach on the good to humanity. But here in the South, the same dastardly crimes are committed and no one volunteers to raise his voice against such a crime committed against a member of the race. I have to bring that out because that's a key point here notice he read so under the guise of christianity they said we got to get this message out to the heathen so they were calling jake's heathen you see how the scriptures are absolutely amazing they were putting themselves up as god's chosen people so we need to preach the gospel of peace to the heathen when in reality the israelites jake are the israelites Jews and the Native American Indians, the Israelites. So th this man has a lot to pay for. Why you think the Most High said, I will have war with Amalek from generation to generation? And Exodus 17, if I'm not mistaken. That's reincarnation. What has been will be again. And there is no new thing under the sun. Who led the slave trade? Amalek, the small hats that funded the ships of the slave trade. Come on, King. But retribution comes to all. Mm. Belgium robbed the black people of the Congo states of their ivory and rubber and sold for gold and labors of these well-meaning people. Mm. If their work was not up to what the Belgians thought it should be, an arm was cut off or some other cruelty imposed. Wow. Now Belgium is suffering. The day of reckoning has come. So will it be with this country. As they sow, so shall they reap. Beautiful. Today, the businessmen are trying their hardest to get into South America and the Latin countries are only going to allow them in under certain conditions. Race discrimination and lynchings will find no upholders there. The people there brand the Americans as lynchers. And it will be hard for the Americans to convince them otherwise. Now what's significant about what he just read? The ten horns shall hate the whore. So the Europeans they called the Americas lynchers. Did you catch that? Does not that line up with Bible prophecy? Europe today hate the Americans to this day. Read that again, King. Race discrimination and lynchings will find no upholders there. The people there brand the Americans as lynchers. Beautiful. Yep. And it will be hard for the Americans to convince them otherwise. Exactly. So even to this day, that separation between the Ten Horns, the EU, and the NATO members, there is a line of separation that has gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. Thy mother that bear thee shall be ashamed of thee. So they hate this hope unto this day. But now they got, they're not, their hands are not clean from blood either. Because the Dutch, the British, the Italians, the French, they carved up the continent of Africa as well. But America, the daughter of Babylon, made lynching a hallmark or a trademark of her oppression. So it's the pot calling the kettle black. You got any more than that? That was it. What you got, King? to um, Amalek real quick because it's good. Uh, okay, I'm going to go into Amalek. This is the book of uh, Exodus 17, verse 16. For he said, because Yahweh, my Hashem Yahweh shall have sworn that the Lord, Yahweh, will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. I want to read one more in Numbers. Numbers chapter 24, verse 20. And when he looked on Amalek, he took up this parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but its latter end shall be that he, that he perish forever. Now see, this is 
very significant because Amalek right now, the 13 Illuminati families, those are the Amalekites today. So they are the chief. And the Lord is commissioning Russia in the Hebrew, the chief, the chief. So he's the chief prince. Russia, the chief prince. They're all Amalekites. And when you look at it, they were all cultivated in ancient Khazaria. The Khazarian Empire was from about 600 AD to about 1000 AD. So these are Khazars. And the first king was um, the king of Khazaria. I'll note it right here. Somebody can post it on the comment board. Sukhan, King, king Kudan. Oh, man, I'm drawing a blank. Somebody put it on the comment board, Bubakasha. So it's talking about Amalek leading in the captivity. Bulan, King Bulan, goodness gracious. So that was the original king of Zarya, King Bulan. So between 600 AD to about 1000 AD. So these are Amalekites, the first of the nations. And Real Shah, or the chief prince, Russia, is going to be used to bring down the kingdom of Edom in the last days, which is Gog and May uh, Magog. So who led in the captivity? Amalek that financed the slave trade, the ships, the ports, and paid Ishmael to help build these ships and ports. Come on, King. Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. Yes. And it reads, if any man have an ear, let him hear the elect of Israel. Come on. Verse 10. And it reads, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Beautiful. See that? So the elect have a circumcised ear that can understand the prophecies. The Amalekites led us into captivity, financed the slave ships finance the ports and the building of these ports and ships and they had the london bank the financier of these voyages that would ensure the commodities which are our ancestors that were called commodities you got something king yeah i got uh i'm gonna read this in the good news translation it's the book of exodus 21 verse 16 in the good news translation whoever kidnaps someone either to sell him or to keep him as a slave is to be put to death that's beautiful i'm gonna read it one more time it's exodus 21 verse 16 the good news translation whoever kidnaps someone either to sell him or to keep him as a slave is to be put to death beautiful this is why one of the reasons why this was taken out and they created what's called the slave Bible. And they told us to read that. Or that that was one of the scriptures taken out. And then we were taught the laws are done away with. But we just read those that stole us, if we be found in their hands, shall surely be put to death. Right. What crimes? Come on, King, you got it. All right, this is the Revelation, one the brother just read, Revelation 13 in the Good News Translation, starting off at verse 9. Listen then, if you have ears, whoever is meant to be captured will surely be captured. Whoever is to meant to be killed by the sword will surely be killed by the sword. This calls for endurance and faith on the part of the Most High's people. That's beautiful. See, and this is why we got to know who are the people, the Israelites. So if we don't know who the people are, or who the key characters are, that we're going to be confused in Bible prophecy. Now we know who Esau is. We know who the children of Israel are. Notice the three elements of this truth that receive daily attacks. The 12 tribes chart were scattered and dispersed throughout all the nations. The name of Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai. In prophecy that 
basically brings all this together. The synergy of these elements, like the sea hip, like us serving our enemies, being persecuted, which is going to culminate in digital technology to be scanned and tracked. And we're going to transition to the future and go into digital technology, smart cities. You got something? Okay, I'm going to read real quick. Who is the elect? Isaiah chapter 45, verse 4, and it reads, For Jacob my servant's sake, and Israel my elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. Beautiful. Okay. Let me read this one first. You done? So the elect are the Israelites. Let's read this one, Brother Zadok. Brother Zadok, Genesis 27, verse 4. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. So when we read Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses 27 through 30, the great tribulation that shall come upon thee in the latter days. How in the world could Moses be talking about tribulation in the latter days if Moses is dead? Somebody's lost already. Lost. Beautiful. Uh, we're going to get that last. Let's read this first, Malak. We'll go back to 2nd Ezra 2 and 20. We're going to talk about smart cities. First of all, I didn't know, again, I didn't know that the, the SMART is an acronym. He's going to read what that acronym SMART means. And then we'll go to 2nd Ezra 2. Sure. And then we'll go into 2nd Ezra 2. Oh, sure. What you got, King? Uh, this is book, uh, the book of Psalms 132 to prove uh, who the chosen people are. I'm going to start off with verse 11. The Lord Yahweh have sworn in truth unto David. He will not turn from it of the fruit of thy body will I set upon thy throne. If thy children will keep my co covenant and my testimony that I shall teach them, their children shall also sit upon thy throne forevermore. For Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, have chosen Zion, he have desired it for his habitation. This is my rest forever. Here will I dwell, for I have desired it. You see that? The fruit of thy body shall be put on thrones. That's a bloodline. We've been taught nothing but lies here in America forever. We got to get Isaiah 45 and 25 to go with that. Come. You can't tell me we ain't been lied to and deceived. Our forefathers told that we're just black and slaves. We're a promised chosen seed forever. That's right. Isaiah 45, verse 25. In the Lord Yahweh shall all the seed of Israel. Shall what? Shall all the seed of Israel be justified and shall glory. Beautiful. All the seed of Israel. So eventually all Israel shall be saved. That's right. They're going to come through the loins of the remnant that's going to be preserved in the last days. Justified. The seed which goes back to a spermal bloodline. Come on, King. Let's talk about tribulation now. So we went from past. We talked about the present. We're going to jump here about now how we're transitioning to the way ahead. Smart cities, according to the World Economic Forum website. You're right, you're right, King. You're right. Shalak, once more. Smart cities, according to the World Economic Forum website, 36 cities, 22 countries, surveillance monitoring, analysis reporting technology. Mm. A digital ID will be assigned to all residents to track 
in real time, every daily movement, location, spinning habits, and their carbon footprint. This is what Moses was talking about. In the latter days, you shall consider it when the great tribulation shall come upon you. Does not we read that in Revelation 7, somewhere around verse 13 and 14? These are they which came out of great tribulation. Come on, King. Allotted 15 minute travel times to complete their activities unless they have a permit. If they exceed their allotted time, restrictions can be applied to their spending and freedom of movement. So you see that? See, these are the so the prophets are false prophets. That's not talking about how the technology integrates in the tribulation. Go ahead, King. It's lucky, Rosh. That's like um, when you said the permit. They, they, uh, what they said they can't. They, they got to permit do something. Permit. Uh -huh. That sounds like um, when a slave master would give the uh, the Jake the uh, the letter to go to the store or go somewhere oh, else. Oh yes, yes. Mm -hmm. What were those called back then? They was given like um, they was given a pass to travel from one plantation to another. Like permission slip. Yeah, they had like a, a a permission slip to travel. So when they would get stopped by the slave patrol. By the way, the modern day police, they were built on the ancient or the uh, historical slave patrol. So you had to show your papers when you were traveling from plantation to plantation. And the Romans used a, uh, a slave stamp system as well. RVSP, which showed which Caesar you belong to. Same people. So the Lord knew that they would just repackage what they've always done. King, we're going to ask you to read that again from the top, unless you got a preset. Yeah, yeah, real quick, for sure. Uh, this is uh, he, uh, it's like Ecclesiastes chapter 1, uh, yeah. verse 9. Beautiful. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. Uh -huh. And there is no new thing under the sun. That's beautiful. So these are Romans, Edomites. They've taken the same marking and tracking system and digitize it come on brother from the top once more and it reads a digital id will be assigned to all residents to track in real time every daily movement location spending habits and their carbon footprint a lot of 15 minute travel times to complete their activities unless they have a permit. Wow. If they exceed their allotted time, restrictions can be applied to their spending and freedom of movement. Under the provisions of Agenda 2030, land development, the government can seize polluted lands. Wow. And force residents to relocate from their homes and move into these 15 minute zones, control zones. So this is gonna be a forced relocation. Why you think we've had all these train derailments, mm -hmm. chemical spills in the water mm -hmm. and in Ohio River, which is going to affect the waters that flow towards the East Coast. That See, so these are orchestrated events by your government leaders. Right. See. Why do you think they, they build these condos and stuff? What's under the condos? What's under the condos? For a grocery store, food spot. So you can stay right there in that vicinity, man. Yep. And you know what? To take that a step further as well, most of your subdivisions has a two-lane entrance and exit way. Yep. And you can't get out of your like where I live. So they can easily set up a military police gate, roll it out. How many of you ever seen that? You got two men, they roll it out on wheels, they both stretch it out, and they set up a uh, military checkpoint, a gate where you can't get in or out. So all the subdivisions have a two-lane entrance way, one way in, one way out. It just takes a, a mobile military gate. I've seen it in the military where they roll it out on wheels, stretch it out, and lock it in place. And they put two guards on one guard there where you can't get in or out without your pass. I think it's going to get serious. 
that's the uh what was that second edge of 68 a man should desire, desire to go into another city but will not be able to, not be able to. exactly once more under the provisions of the agenda 2030 land development the government can seize polluted lands and force residents to relocate from their homes and move into these 15 minute control zones wow now we understand all of the ecological events which are obviously man-made such as over 15 train derail derailments and toxic chemical spills alone over 30 food processing plants mysteriously burning down see that so these this is self-sabotage destroying america from the inside out so these are operatives they are agent provocateurs that are conducting this sabotage man-made in order to shape the terrain for a new world order and a total government lockdown and martial law you know what that's at king in second edge of 16 a man shall desire yeah, it's on here up I'll put some uh, precepts on here for you. Second Andrew um, 15, right 14 through 20. Okay. It's the book of Second Andrew, chapter 15, starting off at uh, verse 14. Yes. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, Beautiful. and one people shall stand up to fight against another, yep. and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition amongst men, and in invading, so like in invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city yes. and shall not be able, mm. for because of their pride the city shall be troubled, Beautiful. and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbors, so like upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and of great and for great tribulation and of what and for great tribulation goes right back to what moses said in the latter days he shall reconsider it after going through great tribulation right. see that let's go back to human law what's going to cause this people to lose their damn mind told you cannot get money out of your bank cash is useless you're 401 savings plans or 401k savings you can't get access to it your retirement savings your treasury bonds you can't get access to it jake is going to lose his damn mind all you got to do is tell anita mike you're fired wait a minute god damn it i'll be back i'm coming back god damn it so imagine being told you have no retirement savings these edomites are going to mount up for war I'm you sons of bitches. Yeah, you sons of bitches. You <laughs> fired me. I'll be right back. I'm right coming right back. back. <laughs> right on the roof. Right on top of the damn roof with a sniper weapon. You got it. <laughs> Where'd you leave off? And then go home and kill his wife and kids. And then he takes out his family. <laughs> with a note in his back pocket. Yeah. I couldn't take it. What is that crap they always write? A damn, uh manifesto uh -huh. only edomites write manifestos come on man <laughs> a cashless society in sweden <laughs> more and more swedes are going cashless from 2010 to 2020 yep. the proportion of swedes using cash fell from 39 to 9 percent yeah wow According to the most recent statistics from Sweden's Central Bank, the Riks Bank, the use of cash in Sweden is mostly limited to making small payments and by the elderly. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Mm -hmm. In shops and cafes, it is much more common to find the sign card only. See that card only. So this was a use of gradualism. Credit card, then debit card, credit card with chip, debit card with chip, then the iPhone, 
now it's maturing or graduating to the end state, which is what they wanted all along. The sea hip. Come on. Once more, it is much more common to find a sign card only or cash free mm -hmm. than cash only. Wow. As in many other countries. Online shopping is also very popular. Yep. Mm -hmm with many Swedish retailers gaining a good share of their margins via web shops. According to Eurostat, 87% of the Swedish population made purchases online in 2021. Wait, what percent online purchases? 87% of the Swedish population made purchase online in 2021. Wow. Putting the country among the top in Europe. See that? See, so this digitized system, they're going to crave and beg for it because it's convenient. But it is a gradual squeeze by the serpent Come on. to meet the changing needs of an increasingly cashless society. Yeah. The Rick's Bank is piloting a digital currency. Uh huh. The e krona a so-called central bank digital currency, or CBDC. Mm -hmm. One aim of this pilot project is to protect the Swedish krona against the rise of decentralized cryptocurrencies. So this is decentralized, a.k.a. federalized. So just like when you had the... Um, what was that Hurricane Katrina? Remember that the banks complained about not being able to push the money down fast enough to the user level. So they're using catastrophes to say, well, we just want to be able to get the money in your hands instantaneously. You see that? Problem, reaction, solution. So when we, they're going to create another mass catastrophe, by the way. They're going to say, look, we can have the cash or the money you need in digital certificates in minutes jake eve wearing a wig is going to jump right in line i guarantee it yelling at a simp that won't get this digital chip i already know it so she can get her hair nails and feet done and a lot of you simps are going to follow her you got something, King? <laughs> that hair hat. That's what they call my hair hat. Because <laughs> you've you, you seen the videos, they just put them right on. Just put them right on, man. man. It, it blends in with their skin tone and everything, man. Exactly. They just want their amenities. So, uh, Salaki Raj, I must say, too, I don't know if you saw it, but now they got, literally, just like how they got wigs, uh, front lace wigs, they got um, a, 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 BB, a, a BBL that you can put on under your clothes. It's like a little, like, like, like draws. Oh. Just put it on, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, and it, it has a it has a pee hole right here by their vagina, and they oh, um and they uh they uh wrecked them. They ain't even gotta take it off. A portable BBL. And hey, Lord gotta destroy this place ASAP. Y'all seen the videos? Okay, yeah, yeah. that's a damn shame. Yeah, Zips Clean is gonna charge y'all more for that. You ain't got no money. That, that thing gonna melt. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is gonna melt. It's gonna be funky. Screen stains on it, everything. Love. <laughs> So, so they're using catastrophic events to say we can get you fast cash. And we all know that fast money, that's usually a bad sign that something's not right. Fast money kills. What was that movie I'm going to put? I, I'm going to get you sucking all body parts and yeah, all that yeah, stuff yeah, on, yeah, hopping this, around this and everything. Mine, on one leg hopping, yeah. yeah, I remember that. <laughs> okay. This is the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6. Verse 10, for the love of money is the yes. root of all evil, Beautiful. which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. That's beautiful. See that? And pierced themselves through. So our heart gets pierced first wherever our heart is. If our heart is in the world, then we're pierced by the lust of the eye and the desires of the flesh which leads to a physical piercing. So it starts with a craving, a desire. See? Because the the eyes are the gateway to the soul. So Yahweh talked about that in Matthew chapter 6. 
So we got to keep our eyes single, is what the term he used, which is on the kingdom, not the man-made uh, gifts or rewards, government stipends, fast cash, the CHIP, the central bank digital currency are snares, traps for your soul, Jake. Come on, King. What's next for Cashless Suite? Yep. The future of banking looks very high tech and focus on artificial intelligence. Wow. AI. Apart from the above mentioned, fintech companies like Tink and Rocker, previously Bink, mm -hmm. are also booming and more startups are on the horizon. Banking apps and Swede Salaki. Banking apps and Swiss are also continuously evolving with upgrades such as simplified and integrated services transitioning towards a cashless society. Now, why, where is the other prophets talking about this at? Great Millstone is teaching about this and are pushing it heavy. Where's the other prophets going into this? Past, present, future. Come on, King. Who knows? Maybe one day everyone will be making payments with their implanted. You know what? The see You can't make this stuff up. Where's the other men talking about this at? He had to put the brakes on. We know where he's going. Once more. Wow. Maybe one day everyone will be making payments with their implanted skirts. Yep. Whatever the future of banking has in store. Wow. Sweden is likely to remain at the forefront of future payment innovations. Wow. The Federal Reserve Digital Payment System, which it promises will help speed up the way money moves. See that? Speed up the way money moves. So they're going to say, look, in the heat of a catastrophe, you can have the money you need in minutes. So they're using historical events like Hurricane Katrina, where Jake couldn't get food, water, and supplies. They had to wait weeks. So they're going to use that as a selling point. Propagandized media. Come on. Once more, the Federal Reserve digital payment system which it promises will help speed up the way money moves. Will they both in July? Will debut in debut. July. They're going to debut in July. This thing is right around the corner, Jake. You still think this is a game? Matter of fact, they're talking about reconfiguring the monetary structure this month, April, to have this thing ready to launch in July. But it's starting this month, the reconfiguration process. Read that again, Boba Kishaw. Once more, the Federal Reserve di Digital Payment System, which it promises will help speed up the way money moves, will debut in July. Debut in July. Let's get this preset real quick, and then we'll go back. Second Ezra, chapter um. 8, 27, and 28, Bubba Kasha. Come on, come on. We got to read this. The true prophets are talking about the integration of technology. You remember where you left off? Okay. Come on. This is the book of 2nd Edges, chapter 8, verse 27. Yes. Regard not the wicked inventions of the heathen, but the desire of those that keep thy testimonies in afflictions. Think not upon those that have walked friendly before thee, but remember them which according to thy will have known thy fear. Regard not the wicked inventions. Did I hear um, tribulation in that as well? Read that again, Bubba Kasha. That's the technology. Read that again, Bubba Kasha. Con, uh, second Andrew chapter 8, verse 27. Regard not the wicked inventions of the heathen, Beautiful. but the desire of those that keep thy testimonies in afflictions. See, in affliction, remember the tribulation that shall come upon thee in the latter days is associated with wicked inventions, technology, central bank digital currencies. I know you see it. So affliction is associated 
with these wicked intentions. Come on, King. Well, so we have to drill this. I'm about to say it again. Once more, the Federal Reserve digital payment system, which it promises will help speed up the way money moves, will debut in July. Fed now, as it will be known. Wow. We'll create a leading edge payment system that is resilient, adaptive, and accessible, said Richard, Richmond Fed President Tom Barkin, who is the program extra executive sponsor. Adaptive and accessible. So they're using the guise of convenience. This man is crafty, the most subtle beast of the field of the world we got a precept this is the book of daniel chapter 8 i'm gonna start off in verse 23 in the latter time of their kingdom mm. when the transgressors are come to the full a king of fierce countenance and understanding dark sentences sentences shall stand up and his power shall be mighty but not by his own power he shall destroy wonderfully and shall prosper and practice and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. And through his policy also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. Now without understanding reincarnation, the scripture is gonna confuse you. Right. Now this is talking about Antiochus, the fourth, if I'm not mistaken, Antiochus the fourth, but they're Edomites, so they're back implementing crafty devices, and he's going to stand against the king or the prince of princes, Yahweh Shad. So this is why we got to understand reincarnation, because if not, you're going to scoff. And if you're a historian out there, oh, that was under Antiochus. Well, look, devil, it's now as well. These men are back, and they're locked. But why the Malak? Go ahead, King. The system will allow bill payments, money transfers, such as paychecks and disbursements from the government. Wow. So you're getting a direct disbursement from the federal government in minutes. No longer the old system. I'm waiting on a federal check that might take three weeks or a month. That's over. So they're putting out the big carrots to entice, persuade. Come on. Once more, and it reads, the system will allow bill payments, money transfers, such as paychecks and disbursements from the government, mm. as well as a host of other consumer activities to move more rapidly mm -hmm. and at lower cost according to the program's goals. Rapid transfers of money to move more rapidly. Wow. I took this from a um, MSNBC, by the way. And then I made sure to put it in words that flow easy. Because sometimes Edomites use these words that is going to just make this pain for the listen to. All right? So this is coming from the MSNBC, which is a reliable source. Because we know they tell you what they're going to do before they do it but having a spiritual eye we know it lines up with the scriptures bible prophecy so notice the words here catchphrases the rapid transfer of money flow you see convenience the um the hasty re reimbursements where you can get a hasty reimbursement in minutes come on Participants will complete a training and certification process in early April. I told you, they're implementing this thing this month. So the bankers are learning about the new digital U.S. currency along with the executive offices of these major banks. See, I told you they're implementing this thing this month, but it's going to fully debut July. Read that again, Bubba Kasha. Once more, participants will complete a training and certification process in early April according to a Fed announcement. 
with the lunch drawing near mm. we urge financial institutions and their industry partners to move full steam ahead with preparations to join the fed now service you know we gotta get the devil is coming down unto you having great wrath yes, sir. does he know it that he has but a short, short time. time we keep hearing words full steam ahead rapidly he's panicking see <laughs> reimbursements hasty transfers so this is the last ditch effort to hold on to this wicked queendom. That's right. But when this devil bring this mandate, we going home, Jake. That's right. All praises to you. How about Shimmy? How about Shine? Bring it, E. Bring it. Let's go. Come on, King. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Uh -huh. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down onto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he has but a short time. See, rapid money transflow, full speed ahead, Operation Warp Speed mm -hmm. to get this thing off the ground. You still think the Bible is a fairy tale book? You tell me. That devil means deceiver, slanderer, or false accuser. That's right. Not a man wearing tight red spandex. Once more, Beautiful. With the launch drawing near, we urge financial institutions and their industry partners to move full steam ahead mm. with preparations to join the Fed now service, said Kim Montgomery, yep. the program executive and first vice president at the Boston Fed, which helped spearhead the project under former Boston Fed president Eric. Rosengren. See that? Well, that name sounds like a small head. Small head. We already know. Rosengren. As soon as you hear something that make you sound like you're about to sneeze, <laughs> blop slopper, <laughs> we already know who it is. Tic-tac head. A little tic-tac head. We already know. <laughs> so, Rocky, I got a precept rush for me. Because like, like I read earlier in uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, yeah. this is, things being repeated. Uh-huh. Because, uh, you know, um, well, let me just read it. Um, and then get Joel 14, 4, and 5 book of Shine. Come, come. This is uh, 1 Maccabees chapter 1, yes. verse 41. Yep. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom yep. that all should be one people and everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed to the commandment of the king. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profane the Sabbath, mm. for the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem mm -hmm. and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange law of the land. Brother, that's heavy. You notice he said, and consentant unto his religion. That's right. So when you look at science and technology, that is a doctrine of the New World Order Luciferians. Just like you get an Eve come up here with a PhD degree. He'll come and mock us and say, who wrote that book? Do you have a doctor's degree? Who wrote the books that you study to get your degree? Exactly. You see that? So he consented unto his religion. So science and technology is a religious dogma. Dogma means a study or religion of theocracy. You see that? So it's all the same. So you either choose to serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh or the beast system, Esau, or the Luciferians. So you can't come up here and try to mock us because we know the Bible through the Holy Spirit. Yo, that's just like uh, 1 Timothy 6 and 20, avoid vain babbling and signs so called. Roughly that's it. Yeah, absolutely right. Okay. And you. Timothy was an understudy of Paul. That's right. Oppositions of science, falsely so called. So that is the doctrine of that man of sin science and technology and you know what when you go into that word uh technology it's the study of falsehoods techno see and ology the study of techno falsehoods or or doctored up yeah forges of lies positions of no value there it is <laughs> techno <laughs> Job 14 Job 14, verse 5. Yep. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee, thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Beautiful. So this man is on borrowed time. 
So America, its economy is collapsing. Mm -hmm. The trust in the government is collapsing. Right. So now he has to, by default, hook up into life support, a digital LinkedIn B system to be linked in to try to preserve his reign of terror on the earth. I've fallen and I can't get up. So this is the life support system to keep the system running. One more paragraph. Institutions that participate in the program will have seven day, 24 hour access as opposed to a system currently in place that closes on weekends. Yeah, this devil crafty man, you see what he did? So he made money accessible instantaneously. You see that? So even the banks that close on the weekend, when you gotta do a transaction, let's say you need $5,000 to buy a car. You can get it now on your chip in, in minutes, directly from a Federal Reserve system. Crafty cunningness. This man, Eve, Evil E, I gotta give you a round of applause, but really I can't. Because the most high gave you that wickedness and that cunning craftiness that you have. Right. Read that again, that 24 hours, seven days a week system. Once more, and it reads, institutions that participate in a program will have a seven day, 24 hour access as opposed to a system currently in place that closes on weekends. <laughs> Remember, you got to keep in mind that's tied to the implantable device that he ran earlier, but he had to cut the word out. That's right. Come on. Program advocates say it will get money out to people much more quickly. <laughs> the palm of your hands. I got money in the palm of my hands now. I got the power. This man is something else. <laughs> Come on, King. For instance. Uh, they said oh, no. Damn. Damn. They, they, they're reading too much hurry up Yo, uh, 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 the uh, Amtrak. yeah that's the spirit they're reading too much information these spirits get revved up when we come out here yep so instant satisfaction instant gratification everything that's written in the bible is for our learning right. not to give in to the flesh covetousness lust greed Everything was written. We thought it was restricting us. No, it was protecting us. The Most High in Yahweh Shai know all things. Right. Come on, King. Once more. Okay. You got it. He's got to get it first, so you can, you can go ahead. Program advocates say it will get money out to people much more quickly. For instance, they said government payments like those issued in the early days of COVID. In the early days of the crown. You see, once again, their motto of the Luciferian global elite is what? Order out of chaos. And in the Latin, opto out cow, opto out cow, order out of chaos. Create the event or the catastrophe, bring forth a ready-made solution off the shelf. See that? just like the uh, crown that we experienced over the last two and a half years. Read that again, Bobby Kasha with the uh, code. For instance, they say government payments like those issued in the early days of the jump shot. Yep. Would have been credited to accounts immediately rather than the days it took to reach most people. There's another catchphrase immediate access rapid cash flow instant transfers we got to be paying attention to this man's catchphrases <laughs> read that again please once more for instance they said government payments like those issued in the early days of the jump shot would have been credited to accounts immediately rather than the days it took to reach most people wow some Fed officials say the program even could supplant the need for a central bank digital currency. Wow. 
See, so this is the groundwork being laid for a new world order. No more long lines at the bank. No more long lines at the shopping centers, the malls. Last time I went to a mall, it looked like a damn ghost town with tumbleweeds rolling down the hallway. Through. Nobody's going to the mall like they used to. Listen, those long lines at JCP are over. Online shopping now. But little did we know this man was creating a small internet of things city, smart cities. What is that acronym again for smart cities? These are control zones. Yep. Right at the top. Yeah, yes. in China. They've already started in China. Surveillance, monitoring, analysis, reporting technology. That's what smart means. And I didn't know that it was an acronym. I just thought, well, it's a technology city. No, it's deeper than that. There's an acronym associated with smart. What's the S? What is it? Surveillance. What is it? Surveillance, monitoring, analysis, reporting technology. He want to be the most high. See that? So this devil Esau wants to be the most high. So he done made JC no pennies, right? Exactly. And he no money now. Yeah, JC Penny is falling. A lot of these major department stores are falling. Really, a, there's really two main monopolies, which is Vanguard and Black, BlackRock, controlled by the global international elite. Vanguard and BlackRock. Use it for store space. Well, we already know. Now, that's a good point. Walmart, when you unscramble it, martial law. So these are going to be used as internment facilities. A lot of these large department stores where people are not going into anymore, now everything's online. Guess what? That was a part of the plan. Yep. These are going to be internment facilities where you got to be scanned in or to get out, tracked. Self-storage or storage yourself, huh? Yep. People as commodities. Because we're going to have barcodes. Well, not we, but the hell with Esau. When I say we, all the fools out there. Okay? But yeah, this man been planning this a long time. Remember that movie, Training Day? Yeah, I've been planning this the whole time. I've been planning this for a week. I've been planning this for a week. Go ahead and smoke that. Yeah, man, that's Esau. I've been planning it all week, son. Yeah, I've been planning it all week, son. Yeah, man, Esau got trapped in his own game. I love that movie. <laughs> so listen all this stuff comes together and the men of the lord got the answers That's right. most of americans are bugged out bugged out Let's see what we got here That's, you know how to go to coming board that's a lock your eyes on may um, just like you've been reading yeah. in the, uh the article he, he, he's, he's puffing up to make it look good so everybody, you know, well, that's a good idea. Let me go ahead and try and take it. Oh, no, and no. then it's going to come to a certain point. You're going to have to take it so you're going to die. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He, he said he, he's crafty. He's going to be, you know, well, you just, just try it out. Yeah. You know, then all of a sudden, if you don't take it, you die. Guillotines and yeah. all that. Uh huh. Yeah, the government has already purchased upwards of about 50,000 guillotines. Gone. And from what I'm told, they have them now where they're digital. You don't have to have a man there holding a black mask. Now you can press a button, and it's digital now. It's like that movie that uh, the um, elder uh, Manaka Zakba showed us uh, a couple of weeks ago, where they uh, put the chicks, uh, what not the chicks, but the people in the um, in the, the Johnson, they just uh, hit a button and they all yeah. came down. Mm -hmm. Hey, somebody, please put that in the comment boy. Is something gray? Is that it? Gray something? They took the movie down as well because it, it got too heavy. It's yeah, so clips on YouTube. Though. Yeah, it's clips on YouTube, but I know. That every time we do a lesson on it, they take it down. But it's too vivid. It shows the intricate details of their plans in that movie. Elder Manata's up did a lesson on it too. I think he's got it still up on Odyssey. Con. That's it. Gray State. Con. Gray State. I saw it. The water, water Malak. We're going to close out there unless you brothers got some closing precepts. All right. We hopefully, hopefully. And listen, the true men of the Lord is talking about where we're going to stay or stand in the latter days. Right. And that includes the digitized system, central bank digital currencies. The false prophets are not going into these things and are not going into the dispersed. 
the tribes that's been scattered. Notice they just barely tuck on it. And the name, they just discard. They don't even go into why the name is important. Let's close out with that one. Um, uh, Acts 4 and 12, Mubakasha. So the name of the Father is important. His name is Yahweh, which means he is or he exists. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai, not Jesus Cross. Okay? <laughs> so the true prophets are going into prophecy and reinforcing the name and the 12 tribes that's been scattered abroad. Right. You know, I get in James 1 and 1. And we'll close out. God, this is the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So notice the true men in the Lord that's re emphasizing the name and start off before we even start teaching our praises to Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, are teaching the full doctrine, which includes this integration of digital technology, scanning, surveillance, tracking, targeting, monitoring, smart cities. The Bible says the devil shall cast some of you into prison. So we got to have an open mind. Some of the prisons are going to be incorporated to these control zone cities. We're going to be on house arrest where we're going to be tracked and monitored, scanned and under 24 seven surveillance. Let's close out with the tribes. James one and one. James chapter one. Verse 1, and it reads, James, a servant of God and of the Lord Yahweh, Shaha Mashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. See that? So these tribes are scattered into the kingdoms of the earth, pursuant to Deuteronomy 28 and 25, and pursuant to Amos 9, verse 8 and 9 were scattered into all nations. We're going to go ahead and end it there. Well, hopefully this has been an edifying camp session. We try to come out here and do our best through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. So we're going to face the east. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kadash. Double honor to the elders and to the apostles of Great Millstone. Much love, honor, and respect to the beloved brothers, helping to edify the body of the hopeful elect, feeding, teaching, prophesying diligently each and every day. To the beloved sisters that are listening and learning in silence and meekness and humility as the scriptures have commanded to do so. And to the beloved of the hopeful elect of the house of Israel, the tabernacle of David is being raised up from the ashes, resurrected from the dry bones, where we've been scattered. Come Yasharala. Come Yasharala. Come Yasharala. Come Yasharala. Come Yasharala. Come Yasharala. In the Bible. The Bible. We got next. Shalom. 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 Adawan Rathazan, which means Lord will it. Adawan Rathazan. Yo, man, that was a heavy lesson, man. Yeah, man, the spirit took over. Because my voice is through. <laughs>